Thank you very much. Uh, next product. Let's go to the area and focus on Windows PCs. So things are changing quite rapidly, and, and you guys, we have some tough competition. Nothing better Let's talk about than it. good competition. Nothing better than good competition. It's a great thing, and I'm glad we've got Windows. Windows has been phenomenal. The product, the technology, the market acceptance, the brand, and in a sense, one of the most amazing phenomena in our business, whether you go back to that first CES keynote or mm -hmm. further back, has been the way that the Windows PC has constantly changed and reinvented and moved forward and spurred other technology innovations. Today, over 1.3 billion Windows PCs are in use around the planet, and that makes it the most popular smart device around. It's an incredible number. But, but things have changed, right? Of course, of course. Things change. That's the essence of this industry. In some senses, maybe the only two things that are constant. Mm. Number one, things change. And number two, people don't want to compromise on what they have today. They want the best of what they have and the best of what they want. Mm. You know, nobody wanted to give up anything they had on their desktop, for example, when the world moved to notebooks. Right. It's a wonderful thing. The Windows PCs evolved. It was a programming machine. It was a productivity machine, a music machine, a video machine, an internet machine. But we don't give up anything as we keep moving down that path. And really, with Windows 8, we've reimagined Windows all the way from the chipset through to the user experience. And it'll deliver a no compromise experience. The best of the PC and the best of the tablet we kicked that off last year at CES, mm. and we're even more excited this year. Hard at work. Uh, and I know we're about to see a really cool demo of Windows 8, but before that, tell me about the, the Windows 7 hardware that's available now. Yeah, there's a really impressive lineup of machines available from uh, our OEM partners. Right. The spectrum of form factors is, is stunning. Uh, Intel's done a lot of work, very good work, making PCs smaller, sleeker, more power efficient, longer battery life, really, really good work. And if you'll indulge me, maybe before Tammy Reller comes out and shows yeah, yeah. us a little sure, Windows sure, 8, sure, sure. I'd like to show you a little video that's got some of my favorite thin and light Windows 7 PCs that are either available now or coming real soon. So Let's maybe they'll uh, All right, roll, roll it. it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Marketing Officer, Windows, Tammy Reller. Well, good evening. Hello, everyone. I'm Tammy Reller, and I'm really thrilled to be here to talk about Windows. I love the PCs in that video, and there really is 
a great lineup of Windows 7 PCs on the market right now. Let me start by talking about the next generation of Windows, Windows 8. As Steve said, we started the Windows 8 journey right here at CES in 2011. And it's been a busy year. Windows 8 is more than the next version of Windows. It's a new way of thinking about your PC. Steve also talked about Windows 8 as Windows reimagined. And I want to tell you more about what that means for consumers. Windows 8 is designed to deliver a no-compromise experience. It brings together the potential of a tablet with the power of a PC. Windows 8 is going to give customers the power, the mobility, and the familiarity to effortlessly move between not only what they want to do, but what they need to do. And the flexibility of Windows makes this possible. But enough talk. Let's actually take a look at Windows 8. So here I am on the lock screen of Windows 8. And in the lower left corner, I can quickly see the information that matters to me. These are my new emails, my appointments, and other notifications. I no longer need to unlock my device, open up each program to see that there are new things that I need to take care of. And I can personalize Windows 8 so that it really is my own unique experience. Even in how I unlock that device, here, I'll use picture password to unlock Windows. So in this case, I simply touch the first fish, a couple more fish heads, and I'm ready to go. And just like that, here I am. So here I am at Start. In Windows, Start is your home screen. It's your starting point. And with Windows 8, We've reimagined it to be immersive, fast, fluid, personal, and dynamic. The tiles, they act as a window into your apps without you even having to launch them. They are alive and they're always up to date. Windows 8 is designed to work with touch and with a mouse and, mouse and keyboard. So no matter how large or how small your screen or screens, you have what you need. So whether you have a 10-inch screen or four 30-inch HD screens, Windows 8 is going to bring you that no compromise experience. And I can quickly get to the important things that I need to do in Windows with one swipe of the finger. All I do is swipe in from the right edge to reveal charms. And charms are going to connect your app to other apps. They're going to connect to your friends and connect your app to your devices. Charms provide access to key Windows features, and as you saw, they're just one quick gesture or click away at any time. So now I'll actually launch a Metro-style app, and in this case, I'm gonna launch a finger painting app. And in, see how the app uses the entire screen, I mean, literally every pixel available. Metro style apps will have your full attention and focus. And I can easily swipe in from the top or the bottom of the screen to see the app commands. Windows 8 makes sure that the things you want to do are front and center. Windows 8 will run on both x86 and ARM. This tablet that you've just seen me demo on is prototype hardware running on NVIDIA Tegra 3 chip. Silicon partners, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and Texas Instruments are all working hard with us to bring Windows to ARM, together with our OEMs. And this all means that the widest possible range of PCs and tablets will be available for Windows 8 across architectures, giving customers more choice and more flexibility. Well, of course, Windows 8 runs brilliantly on x86 both AMD and Intel. This tablet is running Intel Core i5 processor. This tablet we worked on together with Samsung based on their shipping Series 7 design. It's the same device that we gave out to thousands of developers last fall to enable them to start building Metro-style apps for Windows 8. And your Windows 8 Metro-style apps can be 
can be available across all of your PCs and tablets, whether they're x86 or ARM-based. And so developers who are writing Metro-style apps can write once and have it run across both platforms. And Metro-style apps are for touch and mouse and keyboard use. Well, I'm ready to show you something new, so let me head out to the Windows Store, which is the one-stop location for all my Metro-style applications. Let me actually show you a little bit more about the store. So apps are what power the new experience in Windows 8, and it does all start here at the Windows Store. The Windows Store will be the source for free apps, trial apps, and apps you can purchase. There will be as many types of apps as there are people's interests. We want to do the best job of connecting people to as many great apps as possible. And you can see it's very easy to navigate in the store. Let me click on Cut the Rope, this very fun and popular game from Zepto Lab. Recently, we partnered with Zepto Lab to develop a new web version of the game that's built entirely in HTML5. And it really unleashes the power of IE9 and brings the game to everyone. So Zepto Lab saw how easy it would be to leverage this work, this HTML5 work, for Windows 8. And so they did. Well, I have cut the rope on my system. So I am going to uh, have us play a little game of Cut the Rope. How about that? All right, so here we go. Safe to say I've mastered the first level. So there we go. But let me try the next level in front of the crowd and see how I do. Timing's everything. Yes, awesome. So very, very fun game. Encourage you to check it out if you haven't. All right. So it's very easy to launch apps, and then it's very easy to switch between the apps as well. So very seamlessly, I'm able to switch uh, between, all these, between all of these um, apps. And of course, with the Windows Store, I can add new ones whenever I want. Well, the Windows Store will initially open in late February. And it will be the first opportunity for all of you to test out a range of free apps. Um, the Windows Store will be global, available in every language that is offered for Windows. And that's more than 100 languages. Free and paid apps will be available in more than 200 markets around the world. And that's just incredible reach. And the store is not just for consumers. If they want, businesses can actually use the Windows Store to deliver their business apps and updates to employees. The Windows Store is designed to offer something for everyone. Well, everybody loves apps, and we know that they're going to be adding a lot of them, both for fun and for work. And with Windows 8, the more apps, the richer the experience. And one of the cool things about Windows 8 is that you can take these apps and your other favorites and roam across your Windows PCs and tablets. And Windows 8 makes it easy to stay organized with all these apps with a feature called Semantic Zoom. So I can zoom out on this collection of apps, and the tiles become small thumbnails. This is also incredibly helpful for large collections of photos or large collections of files. And with one easy pinch gesture, I'm back. So Windows 8 works great with touch and with mouse and keyboard. I can pan the start screen with my keyboard or, in this case, scrolling with my mouse, just as easily as using my finger with touch. Finding an app? is as easy as starting to type the name of what I want for instant search results. In this case, here, I'll start to type uh, cut the rope to find the game that I was looking at earlier. And it's that easy.